listener note. This episode contains adult content and language. This may not be suitable for all listeners. First up, a content warning. This video will include discussions of racist language and historical events of violence against people of color. In the latest video of RPK, uh, he is saying that uh, dia kutuk Zahid, Zahid kata, Zahid Yamidi kata, yang tak boleh lagi dah tukar government pakai SD because ada akta lompat parti. So now, he saying that, uh, RPK saying that uh, lompat parti means kau keluar parti. Ha? And dia kata dah ada presiden dah. Bersatu punya MP semua yang sokong Anwar tu. Uh, itu, uh, you know, dia ubah sokongan. They, go, they don't get sacked. So therefore, uh, doesn't matter siapa buat, apa ni, uh, bagi sokongan kepada siapa pun. Uh, it doesn't matter. Dia boleh bagi sokongan. Uh, apa ni, ni and uh, Aktak Lumat tak doesn't apply because they don't have to leave their party. Okay, now, what the act says, uh, which RPK either tak tahu because he's dumb, ataupun he is just conniving and he doesn't want the rakyat to know he's trying to deceive the rakyat. Uh, people who don't know what the contents of the act is. The act is not just leaving the party. That's one part. There's a second limb. Second limb is if you are, you go against, you are insubordinated to the party leadership uh, and you are removed ataupun you masa nak undi kat, uh, in parliament dalam dewan you must in, undi ikut the line of the party so kalau party go kiri you pun kena kiri even though you may sokong kanan tapi you kena undi ikut kiri so undian tu penting kalau you undi against what your party uh, decided then you are deemed to have lompat parti and therefore you lose your MPC this is the law and the excerpt yang tunjuk ni, tunjuk apakah cara melompat parti. Ada dua kaedah. So, this is what RPK doesn't want people to know or he himself doesn't know. I don't know which one. Uh, uh, but, uh, what uh, people should know is that what RPK kata tak betul. So, what Zahid says is betul. You can't. So, therefore, you must understand why uh, he and the perikatan penyelap walaun, the tuntun, uh, semua ni nak try through SD to konon lah nak pergi kat Agong to get Agong to agree to do a backdoor government. Faham tak? <laughs> so, he's hoping to, they're hoping to do it that way. Tapi the point is, I already stated, Agong will not entertain such things. Because that is subverting the process of democracy when there is a parliament. Uh, RPK ni dalam video dia kata, nak tukarkannya kena ikut constitution. Jadi kalau Perdana Menteri tu, dia kata, dah tak ada sokongan, majority, he must resign. Atau membubarkan parlimen. Uh, yang tu betul lah dia kata. That's true. So therefore, how to test that he has lost his uh, majority support not through SD SD siapa boleh buat apa pun but the only way the convincing way that cannot be disputed is in the day one so therefore if nak remove Anwar and nak dissolve the Badani government uh, what needs to happen is a motion of no confidence to be passed in parliament and for that to happen, the MPs from either party, which I have a side, uh, will have to vote for menyokong uh, uh, the pembubaran, pembubaran government tu. Uh, the, 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 that no confidence tu. Now, based on what I just mentioned earlier on how, what constitutes lompat party and what happens kalau lompat party, you lose your MPC and... Uh, it would trigger a by-election. 
Jadi Agung also Agung incoming uh, apa ni current Agung and also which is the outgoing Agung and the incoming Agung also knows this among the brother rulers he knows the law so they discuss all this jadi bila uh, if they produce lah ha, 118 ke 120 ke ha, ha, macam-macam diskrepansi lah bawa pada Agong firstly Agong is not going to be keen about tukar government because he knows number one he knows what the effect is uh, to the country it causes further instability tukar lagi dalam setiap masa we be descend into a pariahship in the uh, global scene ok number dua Bila pergi belah sana, the Perikatan Nasional Ipa the Muhyiddin yang geng, Agung also knows what happened the last time. The darurat and how he subverted democracy and dah ada macam-macam skandal. Jangan we bawa apa semua. Dia tahu nombor dua. Kan? Nombor tiga, that pintu belakang punya government tu was necessitated. Eh? Why? Because of COVID. And therefore, tak boleh go for elections. And therefore, it was done outside parliament. Jadi, tiga reason. Ha, ha. Tapi, Agung nampak sekarang ni, dah tak ada dah that third reason tu. Because, sekarang ni, we can go for elections any day, any time. So, therefore, kalau betul Anwar Ibrahim tak ada support lagi dah, kalau ada, ada lah section SD, then Agung will just say, guna ikut perlembagaan. Agung pun dia kata macam Hadi kata lah. Hadi kata ikut perlembagaan. Ikut perlembagaan, pergi pada parlimen, pass a motion of no confidence. Tapi, masalah dia, there's one problem. All those AMNO punya MPs yang mana yang nak tendang keluar AMNO ataupun Sabah Sarawak yang tendang keluar AMNO parti kalau dah buat decision ok uh, that menyokong AMNO if they vote against and apa ni uh, vote in favour of the motion of no confidence on AMNO dia dah langgar arahan parti and dia deem tu dah lompat Dah lompat parti dah. Okay. Kalau dia dah deem tu lompat parti, they lose the MP position. So therefore, as an MP, uh, uh, they all can decide tau, to tarik sokongan in parliament, push forward the motion of no confidence. And kalau betul ada 120, answer dia betul. Anwar will uh, end up uh, being kicked out. Uh, he has to resign. And uh, he will mo most probably go to the ago to ask to dissolve the government. So that they can achieve in parliament if they do have the 120 support. Tetapi, yang reason macam RPK kata pun, I'm not tak sure lah kan? because they don't know how this will play out. Uh, Hishamuddin, Ismail Sabri, semua tu. Because the minute they do that, they lose their MPC. They're no longer MPs. They, in other words, they want to sacrifice Anwar, they have to sacrifice themselves. Okay, now, yang mana yang bersatu, yang sokong Anwar, ha, dia kemudian kata dia sokong, dia, 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 dia support Anwar, dia support Anwar, and uh, dia pun dapatlah funds ke apa, ke apa, federal, from federal government ke, now, they are also subjected to same rule. So, kalau katakan ada motion, no confidence, and they don't sokong, they will also lose the MPC. So, again, bersatu will lose MPC, AMNO will lose all the traitor and peace and therefore we go to elections uh, Zahid being the head of AMNO and BN he will again choose uh, friendly candidates for MPs lah and the MP baru yang dinobatkan in GE16 uh, uh, GE16 kalau kita main GE ni uh, will follow party rules and therefore those seats yang dipegang oleh Hijamuddin ke Ismail Sabri ke whoever who wins those seats uh, will sokong Anwar balik <laughs> so long as Zahid sokong Anwar because Zahid is the leader of Amnor provided Zahid menang and therefore kalau go to elections Anwar akan tolonglah Zahid menang and apa ni uh, PKR machinery harapan machinery akan tolong Zahid menang lah uh, dulu dengan Amnor machinery pun Zahid dah menang Kan? So, uh, GPS pun sopa. GPS pun tak ada sebab nak sokong uh, apa ni, Muhyiddin punya gang. For what? They got whatever they want. They're getting what they want. They want MACC3, mereka punya 
royalty dia orang semua anda bagi dah Sabah and Sarawak has gotten within this one year of Anwar taking over more than they have gotten from over 60 years under Barisan Nasional so why would they want to change government now, what can the other side give more sekarang ni there is even a deputy prime minister from the East Malaysia they have never got as much dignity as they have now and it's a giant leap for our Sabahan and Sarawakian brothers uh, brother, uh, brethren and uh, they are on the right trajectory they are not stupid to shoot themselves in the feet so uh, itulah pasal, pasal itulah RPK will keluar video tak berhenti because the hour is counting near Agong baru is going to come in <laughs> ujung bulan ni <laughs> And but he will not uh, entertain nonsense. So whatever they have to do, they have to go to go to the uh, uh, day one. And what they can do in day one, they can try to get the motion of no confidence to be passed for Anwar to create tendang. Kalau betul ada sokong 120, though, which I doubt. I think RPK tembirang saja. <laughs> Tapi kalau katakan betul pun, uh, after that, they have to swear in, uh, lepas election ke apa lah eh, they have to swear in another MP that in the opinion of the Agong can command the majority support of the Dewan. It will be Anwar again. <laughs> because siapa yang terkeluar sebagai MP, dia vote, eh, motion of no confidence tu, eh, dia terkeluar, uh, uh, apa ni, and the government is dissolved, uh, the parliament is dissolved, then balik pada elections. And uh, people like Ijian Budin and Ismail Sabri the one that is yang tak sokong the Madani government, eh, tak sokong Zahir tak sokong Anwar know that they will not be fielded the only way they can be fielded kalau Muhyiddin punya side punya camp fielded <laughs> so will they do better without Amno machinery because they've been Amno guy all along so this is where the predicament of Amno punya MPs Tak tak? Yang mana yang tak suka Anwar Ibrahim? This is a predicament because they don't know. They may lose everything. Right now, they they got their MPs. Right now, they're just waiting for, you know, Zahid masuk jail ke, ataupun Zahid resign ke. They can berkuasa balik dengan UMNO. So, the future, nobody knows. So, imagine, if you're in the UMNO punya shoes, you don't know whether if you stay on, sabar sikit, eventually you control UMNO and you can decide, ha, corak politics dalam negara ni. Ataupun, you do this, you burn bridges, uh, you lose, don't become MP, you try under another party, silap-silap jadi irrelevant. Tengok macam Tajuddin pasal salak tu. Apa jadi? Where is he now? Huh? Senyap dah, tak ada dah. Gone. His political killer mampus. He went against Zahid. So, semua nak ikut example dia ke? Dia perpikir juga. Uh, at least now, they are in the political scene, they got money, they can get contracts later on. Tak nampak? <laughs> so, uh, this is where uh, RPK is uh, probably paid, uh, you know, extra, extra now uh, to go on overdrive mode lah, uh, to menggemparkan rakyat uh, supaya they have less faith in the stability of the government. Uh, they want to, they want rakyat to believe that uh, so that number one, Bila all the tuntuns and all the kleptocrats eh, start being called up to court and being sent to prison, they can firstly raise the sentiments of the Melayu especially uh, against the current government uh, by memfitnah government ni yang is a draconian regime using all the institutions and enforcement punya uh, machinery uh, to silence the dissenters, uh, the opposition. Uh, dia nak tunjuk macam tu. Bukannya dia orang bersalah, but dia orang difitnah. Itu satu. Satu lagi, uh, also to um, prepare rakyat uh, in case the parliament is dissolved, agung dissolve the parliament, and we go into elections, uh, then it's a fresh start for everybody. Yeah? Uh, fair game. They want to do well lah. They want to try to get most of the Malay support uh, in order to win the government because they need to win the government because in order to escape going to jail. Uh, jadi, they are two-prong what they are trying to do. 
Jadi dia bagi orang menggelabah sekarang ni percaya that you know this government is weak. Uh, believing that Perikatan Nasional is so strong that Green Wave can just sweep and therefore everybody loves the winner and therefore would start swinging their votes towards Perikatan Nasional. This is their wet dream lah. They're trying. Their wet dream. So, macam-macam langkah Dubai lah, langkah itulah. And he's tripping over his feet lah kan. Ha, mula kata uh, Tok Mat Agung dah perkenan uh, kat Dubai. Datang sini pula, dia pun propose uh, tiga nama tapi terpulang pada Agong. Tapi tiga nama tu tak include Tok Mat pula this time. <laughs> ada Dr. Sam, ada Muhyiddin, ada uh, Hamzah Zainuddin. Eh, Hisham Muddin, sorry. Ada Hisham Muddin. So, uh, tak tahu lepas ni satu lagi video pula. Hamzah Zainuddin pula ke? <laughs> Taki Uddin ke? <laughs> Hadi Awang ke? So, uh, RPK will continue to do this lah. Ha? Kat Agong semua. And istana cool lah. Tak ada buat statement apa pun. But kalau if he gets out of hand, Istana will make a statement lah. Tak tak? And sekarang ni, uh, ada yang surat daripada bersatu tu. Kata Hamzah Zainuddin kata, bagi tahu, uh, terima kasih pada tuanku, uh, bagi audience untuk perizian 118, semua tu. You tengok Syed Hussein Hamid punya blog, bersatu themselves dah kata, surat tu palsu. <laughs> so, uh, you see all the fake punya uh, videos, the fake punya letters, documents, photos, internet media is going on overdrive mode. Jadi gila. I do not know whether there's a law. I do not know what Fami Fazir can do under the law. But this is just uh, creating menace on social media. And uh, aku pun join the fray lah. I join the fray to clarify because I want Malaysians to be enlightened and not being manipulated and abused. Uh, by all this, uh, you know, unscrupulous punya uh, walaun, walaun semua. So, I want to share, enlighten people uh, and uh, uh, hopefully Malaysians know, Malaysians know lah how to deal with this in the meanwhile while waiting for the authorities to decide, you know, how they want to uh, to menangani masalah ni. Tahu tak? Orang, orang buat cerita and orang fitnah. Semua orang. Agung pun kena fitnah. Agung perkenan lah, Agung nak buat itulah, nak buat inilah. I dah kata daripada dulu sampai sekarang, um, Agung, either Agung lah. Ha? Siapa-siapa jadi Agung pun, yang mana yang brother dulu lah so. Seorang pun takkan allow a pintu belakang punya government anymore. Because we can go for elections. And in order for there to be in elections, the government has got to be dissolved. And in order for government to be get to be dissolved, the leader of the government, the PM have to lose confidence of the MPs and the only way that can be proven is in parliament through a motion of no confidence that must happen but that is what perikatan nasional is afraid to pull out dia tak dia takut nak buat because dia kalau buat tu ha, with orang yang dia kata 120 tu with with them a, a big chunk of that 120 tu takut hilang MP ship dia pak. Ah, ha? depa takut hilang tu because they are self serving. They don't care about that. Yeah, they care only about themselves. And therefore if they are going to lose that income, they going to lose that status, they don't want to risk it. So because of that, dia pun tak sure nak ke depan kan nak ke belakang. Ha? so semua orang yang mana yang tak setuju dengan Anwar, at best lah kalau katakanlah betul lah that number tu 120. Ah, ha? my guess is ada lah orang-orang Amno yang tak setuju Anwar jadi PM yang nak want this outcome to be kan tapi uh, even those pun takut dia punya situasi ha? macam mana dia punya future ha? tapi for those people they probably decided to tell lah the Muhyiddin and gang apa semua tu the PN punya gang that uh, we will go along with it only if this can be achieved to SD lah faham tak? Ah, kalau Agung boleh agree to appoint somebody else because if Agung buys the bullshit that Anwar has lost uh, majority support uh, because kat Dewan dah 140 lebih 48 ataupun 153 kat Dewan dah macam tu dah it's already based on orang mengatakan it's already known it's already reported in the news jadi Agung tahu yang tu and for Agung to decide that Anwar in the middle of things Anwar hilang majority which Agong dare to just decide that 
and appoint another prime minister any agung will do the due diligence and say kalau betul this pm dah hilang prove it to me through the motion of no confidence this is what all agung will insist semua kalau siapa-siapa raja pun dia akan insist dia jadi agung pun dia akan insist benda tu because that is the only safe way for him to firstly agree to the resolution of parliament lepas tu pergi pada election dan ha, lepas tu lain cerita lah lepas tu tengok lah apa jadi the outcome of the elections kalau again macam hang parlimen ni then agung will broker the same way balik then dia akan panggil yang paling parti yang paling banyak menang and dia akan panggil the second biggest party to combine kalau boleh combine boleh cukup 120 lebih can form a government ha? unity government again uh, kalau second one uh, second one atau first one refuse to work with the other Uh, then uh, dia akan panggil lah lagi yang kecil-kecil lagi tu uh, bagi cukup so uh, Agong will have to do that this Agong next Agong will have to do that uh, tapi with the new Agong watch out lah eh? kalau parti-parti nak kurang hajar kat Agong uh, nak kata no nak kena apa you see what the Agong will do lah this Agong this new Agong ni from Johor ni uh, he's not going to be like any other Uh, <laughs> Agung lah eh. he's a no nonsense type of a guy and he will do <laughs> he will teach seko-seko ni eh, kalau buat kuah hajar pada royals uh, so uh, tak tahu lah tengok I, I'm, I'm looking forward to the outcome uh, according to RPK many things will happen next week uh, tengok lah apa akan jadi to me there will just be more videos and RPK akan pegang macam-macam list lagi Uh, DSDs apa pun uh, I don't think any of the AMNO punya uh, members apa semua tu yang yang yang, yang uh, dissenting uh, yang tak setuju dengan Anwar uh, which is actually going against the party made decision dare to put it on SD and lepas kat tangan uh, the opposition uh, they can do anything with it they can layangkan they can float on social media and finish lah uh. If they do that, habis lah. All those are, uh, you know, their party president will just ask them. So, why do they want to do anything to risk it? Uh, apa besar sangat problem Anwar jadi PM? Uh, the, so, the only one that is really, really desperate to get rid of Anwar and the Malay government are the one who knows they did something wrong last summer and MBCC is coming after them. And if you see, MACC is an, is an on overdrive mode. Habis semua di parongkai. They are going serdah, apa ni, uh, serbu semua office. Uh, they are going uh, interview semua orang. Semua kes buka lah ni. <laughs> Anak-anak orang semua, semua habis. Uh, semua bini orang punya benda, semua, semua di parongkai. Now, uh, Anwar gloves off lah lah ni. As far as Anwar Ibrahim is concerned. Gloves off and... Uh, You buat salah, you jawab lah. Ha? Tak kira lah berapa lama. They can send lah, apa ni, uh, lawyer, lame lawyers, ha? macam Zaid Ibrahim. Uh, dah lama, kenapa nak buat lagi lah. Apa? <laughs> He can try lah. He can try his mantra. Uh, but you can see most Malaysians are not stupid lah. Ha? Ada juga Malaysians yang punya bodoh. Melodramatic Malaysians who the best speech ever. <laughs> Kepala otak. Semua... Kalau kencing, you panggil lemonade, then minumlah. This is all I can say. Assalamualaikum.
will be at the end of the year when he gets his bonus. And now he tells me that he didn't achieve his performance uh, target and didn't get his bonus, so no iPad for me. So I'd like to um, do some fundraising to get a new iPad because the iPad that I use now is seven years old and uh, every few months I have to send it for repair. It's really on its last legs. So I'm going to put my account number here and um, if you can transfer whatever you can afford, that would be a great help. Now if we had, if we have um, 11,300 subscribers and each subscriber donated one ringgit, then I could get the iPad. It's, I have to get one with the high specs, you know, the two, terabyte, two terabytes of memory. Because making these videos um, is quite memory intensive and I want to future proof it so that it could last me another seven years. If I get one with small memory, it will cause no end of issues for me. Okay, so if you can do that, and once I raise funds to get a new iPad, any interesting ideas that can help build a better Malaysia, uh, please uh, put them in the comment section. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, do subscribe. Uh, the subscription is free, you don't have to pay money. And we don't, you know, uh, YouTube doesn't give us your information. So there's no list of uh, subscribers. I just know the number of subscribers, but no information about who the subscribers are. And um, we are not monetized, so there's no advertisements. When you click on our videos, you straight away uh, watch our videos. You don't have to see annoying ads. Anyway, now please subscribe if you haven't done so, and please share our videos uh, far and wide. Terima kasih. Wassalam. in this video resonated with you be sure to like it share it with your friends leave a comment and as always don't forget to subscribe